Reeve here uses Transcendence trying to keep bait up as he jumps on back. That'll give an opportunity for Boston here to attack with their own Transcendence. I wonder if he used it just to try and get a cross back because he was scared yeah. of the fact that Mistakes was watching because no one was really low on health when Kareev came across with the Transcendence. Fate was doing okay, he was in Primal Rage, he could have just dropped down and gotten healing for the rest of his team. So now without the Transcendence, the Valiant have to fight with a little bit less healing and it makes a huge difference. The Uprising were able to break through them now and just the presence of the Widowmaker may have forced Kareev into that Transcendence. Yeah, once you force the bite on the point with the composition that Boston is running, then Mistakes is Valiant go with a jump rat here on defense. Agilities will use this blade. This will be a bite oh. win for the Valiant, but you know, maybe we see them switch off here to Junkrat. Junkrat very effective on point B. Quickly thinking back though to that first point. He's not going to be around much longer. He's very low in health, but Bunny finds Striker. A trace, a pulse bomb and another Tracer is a big statement. And it was enough to get the kill. Bunny needs to do a lot more here. Yeah, he had just used Recall Striker, so not able to recall out of the pulse bomb. Kareev with two. You have Gamsu getting very low. Agility's forcing Kellex out. The Kellex gets back, tries to heal up Gamsu. He falls, Gamsu will fall shortly after, as Boston will have to back out 77%. Regression, and now the Valiant go forward again. Neko was on his own inside the closest, and he gets put under. No way he's gonna get out of that one. And not getting desuited, mistakes down on the point of transcendence. He's just for good measure. Then the Boston Uprising have run out of options. Gamsu is gonna get run over. And she's gonna force, be forced back out the door. And you can see the striker's trying to remain alive on the point. You don't get overtime presence while he's sitting out in the back. He has to come forward and face the music. A recall was used. He drops down into the moat and he is pursued to his end. And there's no way Note's gonna get there. No! The Valiant get that full hold of that second point. Control this room and striker could be in deep trouble. He's getting body blocked. And the swift strike ends him right there and then. Yeah, there was nothing he can really do. Up there alone, mistakes with 2 HP. Couldn't really come out and help him. It's Bunny with a pulse bomb on an echo. May get this res up. Oh, actually, Space breaks up the res there as Kellex was going to res Neko. That's both supports down here for the Boston Uprising. The Valiant should be able to take point A with that. Crisp and clean from the Valiants after a failed first push. Not much done from the Uprising. Point. Back and try and burst down this jump rat. But then Striker just dances around on the point, contests it. You're so damaged up. And that is going to be a death knell for the Valiant here. Every time that Riptide comes out, at least one of them is down, but they lose Kareem early this time anyway. They needed him in the fight. He wasn't close to a transcendent, but now they've lost both supports. Caster couldn't get away from Gamsu. And now Strike will be in a great position just to chuck space down slowly but surely. He's the mech to go for that self destruct but he'll be chased down. Will he be allowed to re-mech? He'll get back in anyway, but it's a parting gift from Striker. Pulse bomb and space. A bit more of a baby diva main so far, and that is it for the Boston Uprising. Blanco's finish using Transcendence, he can get him without the shields, but no, that's the EMP now from the Valiant. Where's the follow-up though? There's not a lot that can really be done here. No, it does get desuited, but Space is low on health. He was trying to chase Kellex. Bunny finishes the job at least. No Mercy available now for the Boston Uprising, but you could say the same for the Valiant. Caster's missing. Striker has yet another Pulse Bomb, by the way. That will be his second for the fight if he'd opted to use it. So even though he's deep in enemy territory, yeah, Kareem is going to have his shield stripped from him. And it's a very easy kill. They have 50 health there outside of those shields, so super vulnerable. And the Valiant have lost every fight on this second stage. And the first as well, in fact. Been very quiet on this map. Only one kill for the entirety of the Valiant, and that one goes to Kareev. You can ask the, the Valiant Diva's parents, I suppose, but soon especially needs to do you know, a lot of space to do anything with, right? If he has no space, like, well, he's in trouble. Man, that's huge! What are you doing, no? Four kills in that self destruct Okay! Sends it straight on in. Any players coming, it's a big diva self-destruct over the top as the Boston Uprising are setting a tremendous time here on Blizzard World. You are not coming back from that. Bunny gets a bit of Valkyrie healing from Custer who dips down briefly just to try and keep this one stalled out. But there's no way the Valiant is shell-shocked. With the stakes EMP. So there's the EMP. The self-destruct goes on in. You can see Custa and Space have both lost their what? movement abilities, <laughs> and then Soon is stuck there. He actually gets That's the Jedi kill, but... He's like Reinhardt at the end of... Oh, no, he's like... Uh, taking down a Transcendent, desperately employed in this fight for the Valiant to try and stay in it. Now the Micro Rockets come, and Custa has to try and dodge those. Back to the point, Note goes. Now he wants to get on Soon. No chance will be another EMP now for the Valiant in this fight, and Gamsu wrecks them with a Primal Rage. And the Boston Uprising complete the full hold. Point out of comp change here. It'll be uh, Kareem's Coalescence wearing out. That's going to be a Pulse Bomb from Striker. You're going to use your Transcendence as well. So they definitely want to try and force this fight to go in their favor. Striker with another kill there on Acosta. It'll be the Rip Tire that comes through. See if Soon can get anything. 
but still so much percentage built up on the point here for the Valiant, Mitch, right? It's, gonna be, one, out, right? it's gonna be one fight that has to go in their favor for a win. Yeah, Strike opened that fight up per try and descend upon the Valiant as they quickly shuttle their way into the point, but he took so much damage, more than just the pain of the mech getting scratched, soon gets the finish with the Hellfire shotguns. Trying to find a safe spot on the point to work from. Now getting in the face of Neko. Watch out, that right click could hurt! The Cossack kick plus Striker getting up towards him was enough to finish the Reaper and soon hasn't been able to get much done, Matt. But Agility's going to back him up pretty nicely on that Roadhog and that sound barrier is going to make a very robust Los Angeles Valiant team now. Being able to set up on the point. Gamsu's down, we're in overtime. Control the point, should swing back to the Valiant right about now. And the Wick will burn down. Neko's not going to get there. And no one will. The Valiant start off well. This is their resurgence. It's coming across the point there from Neko. Point taken to start off by the Boston Uprising, but the Orissas are traded out. Telex brings the Boston Orissa back. Gamsu. Death comes on four legs. Space forced to take a breather and get out. In the meantime, Sumi's doing work though. He gets the D mech and he gets rid of Striker. Now the Valiant are happy to set up in this small room here. Well, they have to. They have no choice really. They'll get a Jillies back in the fight to try and do some work with this junk rack. Yeah, I mean, with but Agilities can't get that rubber burnt. Snakes find space inside those lower closes, but he falls to suit and out. The transcendence is in over the point. Both teams have used those. Gamsi puts the supercharger down, and Note's trying to get to the back line. You can see the back line's turned against him. See what he can do as he tries to get away, and the healing will be there for Kellex, but now the supercharger's down. Kareem has fallen, though. Here's a Riptide coming through. This could be a big one. Striker has to make a difference! But soon was there, and he deals with it. Oh, and you think when that rip tire comes through, that is going to put this point away for the uprising. That's a shot. Staying alive, though. Mistakes with two headshots back to back, though. One on the bait, one on the soon. To force a third point here on the pop. That goes to shot right on a Kareem. Picks him off early. This is a hack on the space, so he's going to lose his mech. Has no abilities. And note getting pummeled, though, as well. See that last rocket from Agility's Connects. That's a beautiful long shot from Neko. Love it! Strike is also down. Agility's is grounded, but he doesn't mind. He's already done such a huge amount of lifting in this fight. The rest of the Valiant now can ease in to the token. And now Agility's is being brought over to the point as well. Get that extra power damage in there. You can see Striker on your screen just prior, looping onto the left side of the point. Space is only happy to brawl out here and trade some paint. And Note was trying to get down towards the Gildies, but he's flown to Coot. They grow up so fast, Matt. Nick goes down. Overtime. Being kept in stasis, but it's just by Striker. He's low and now doesn't have a recall really to work with after using it just now. And he'll get burst down. Gamsu's going to desperately jump at the point. He gets there, but he's burst down. And Gildies, what a big round from him. The Farah comes up to be the difference maker of the Valley and get that map. Kareem. It's being pocketed by Custer, and that pulse bomb will actually prevent Custer from following him completely. The space is desuited. The stakes went down to a pulse bomb in the back. Kellex is trying to resurrect it, but soon has returned to the fray to punish that. But all it is is Custer on the point now to stall things out. Not ideal. And that will be point A taken. Yes, Custer used Valkyrie to try and keep that fight. And then he falls, and everybody's weak at that moment as uh, Kareev here caught on his own there by Striker. Oh, soon! Soon. And nobody home there. Striker. <laughs> The lights are on, <laughs> but he's got a couple of kangaroos loose in his top paddock, as we say back home. <laughs> he's busy dealing with that. Mistakes is getting a couple of picks at the end of that. Kellex is going to bring back the most crucial player for the uprising, and soon gets a second. That goes down. Fate deals with Note, and the Widowmaker from the Los Angeles Valley are now starting to start flexing on these nerds. Mello, that goes resurrected up, should I say. Striker is back in the fight up towards the side of the point. He just gets taken down as soon as he's brought up. Soon definitely feeling good right now, but Gamsu now needs to put a stop to this nonsense. Fate though jumps in on mistakes, and that's it! The Los Angeles Valley and holding the gates. Safe to go through the tunnel. Soon, instead of going around big girls and going towards the other side, actually oh. goes through the tunnel as well. Six shot there on the mistakes. As Kellex goes for the res, he gets taken out by space. The dive comes through here for the Valiant. That was so aggressive from Soon as well. He used his grappling hook just to get the momentum, you know, the leftward momentum. I mean, yeah, he gets rid of not going. Special delivery note, and he cops it. That will be the D suit immediately, and the Diva's still a non-factor in this fight. No, nothing but the Bunny Blaster. But Bunny's got two of them, and that will be it. Another checkpoint coming up for the Valley, and they are looking real good. Five minutes to finish the map to get the shots out. Kellex, is he going to be the answer? Fate keeps deciding between these targets at a moment's notice. And now the self strike comes in over the top. Gamsu's in deep trouble. It was Fate that found him. Striker gets knocked back into the corner now, but you can see the Winston player from the Valiant starting to stretch his legs a bit more. And Mistakes is down. Soon found him. Striker pulse bomb. He'll get space, but not get him out of the mech. He stuck it. But it ain't going to be enough. And you ask for a map five, Los Angeles. You. 
the abilities. You see, the, the bait was used to get close to everybody. If he uses that bait to try and get away, then you're going to see them jump on him. Right? Just like that, Striker takes Kareem out. self destruct in over the top, and note found Custer there. Tough for the mercy. The dump out, which couldn't get out of the way. And then Kellex gets Neko back into the fight. So now it's just Bunny and Fate, and they are going to be cut down awfully fast. The Valiant tantalizingly close. No way he's going to be able to stay alive. Maybe Custer gets the touch here. Cheeky. Won't live for long, though. Uh, Julius and Kareem can get there. The Doomfist now has made his entrance. Took a lot of damage in midair and he got rid of mistakes. This is how a stall can start though. Getting that first pick is very important. But Kareem tried to run fast as the super soldier. Kept stalling it out. Fate's going to jump in now as well. Space has been desuited and it's now Fate against essentially six. Mini Diva won't hang around for very long. Bunny now will be the next to step up. So this should be a fairly drawn out stall here. Agilities will join in on the point where the Valiant just can't put together the numbers to actually give themselves an advantage. They did get a pick earlier on. It was just resurrected up and that will be the round. Points for effort used by the Valiant. They actually used both of them at the same time and they still lose Agilities in the fight. They weren't in position to make the most of those key support ultimates. And the problem was the Boston Uprising split them in two. For me, you know, the biggest issue there is that uh, Kareem is forced to use Coalescence because he has he's not putting out any damage as Moira, so he actually had no healing resources left. So the only way he could have... Your strike in, Agility's using that to close the gap. Big punch to Gensu. One of the fights he can say to the face. But Agility's going to struggle. Neko again finds him. He's trying to sneak in on that left-hand side and get there. But now it's just Striker, the lone tracer, forced to use his recall now. Over time, he's getting very, very, very low, and it's dissipating quickly if there's no one on the point. Note now is going to stand there. He's going to have to take this one. Pulse Bond to remove him, and there it is. We get ourselves three rounds. Space was the player that delivered the... No, playing uh, no, Diva, Winston, Sombra, and Tracer. Can no, don't turn this around. Oh. He wanted that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Again, and the boss snap rising kind of easing into this fight. They're looking confident. Now we have overtime. Fate has a drop to the point, but he's in trouble. Bunny tries to go for a big pulse bomb, and he did get Gamsu. It's the has been brought back to the fight. They must use this Genji very effectively. Space is going to be doing a very good job of stalling right now. No one can kind of kill him on the side of the uprising. And Giordi still went down. He had a face full of micro rockets, but he did get the suit of note, and that might just be enough to keep the stall going now as the Valiant take back the point. It was looking scary for the match. That's the Valiant self to show. Do the home run. Space can't desuit or resuit, should I say? He was hacked in the process. Agility's now needs to find himself a Brady bunch of kills to get this one done. He doesn't get any with the blade, but Kalex and Castro are both missing. There are no mercies at all on this point. Strike a pulse bomb. He found fate. This is the Boston Uprising coming in now. They do it with alacrity. They have control of the point. We're in overtime, and Kareem has to try and sneak him with a fade to keep this one going. He gets there just in time. Back across the point. How did he find mistakes doing that? Incredible play, and now Space can't get there though. So close, but the Boston Uprising once again fend off their ninth challenger of stage three, <laughs> and you can see how difficult it was for them. Oh. The Valiant came into this series, Matt, knowing that. Needed Check out our website at actionesports.com to stay up to date on the latest matches, highlights, and more from scores, match history, and specific game info, we've got you covered for all things Overwatch Esports. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to check out our channel for more action-packed content. Also, like and share this video, and click the subscribe button to join our notification squad. Thanks for watching.